Well, maybe you've been lucky enough to get a little glimpse of the northern lights. They have been on display this week across 21 states all the way down to Florida with some reports here and also some ports, uh, reports down in central Florida. Now the lights are most visible from six at night to six in the morning. So if you do catch a glimpse, make sure you send us in some pictures. We have some uh, pictures here. This is from it says Briceville, Florida and a uh, Garrett I know it's best if you kind of look through it through your phone. Sometimes it's hard to see with the naked eye. Yeah, and you kind of uh, make sure those um, high exposure, long exposure, you can capture Our much own, as yeah. much light as possible here. So again, these same photos here you see in Duval County behind us. Uh, there, Briceville, we've seen them as far south as I've seen the Space Coast in some spots here. Uh, this was a geomagnetic storm that uh, collided with the Earth here uh, last night with the peak of it. There's actually probably one more uh, coronal mass ejection here to get here later about midday during the daylight hours. Possibility of some of this still being viewable tonight. It interacts with the magnetic field uh, of the Earth. Here's the solar wind and charged particles here get here. It kind of takes a path of least resistance and usually that's typically at the poles where it can get in here and where we can see those colors. Uh, and this is kind of what we see in different colors depending on what molecules in the atmosphere the, the solar wind is interacting with. So we saw some reds and pinks here essentially a lot of times you see those greens up there in the northern higher latitudes, but on a space weather scale here, it was what we classify as a G4 storm here. So this is high on the scale. Uh, some spot, it almost got to G5 here. This would be a satellite issue, GPS issue here at times. Now, right now we're about a G2 here at the moment, but last night it peaked at G4. Uh, so we don't talk about it often, but here we're always monitoring it here in the Action News Jack's First Alert Weather Center, but something we... Uh, Kind of nice to see in the sky uh, here, at least locally. But downtown of the Action News Jack's First Alert Skycam Network, right now not seeing those here. There is a possibility, again, of a brief moment of that tonight. Uh, but the bulk of that uh, highest energy will be during the day daylight hours, it appears, uh, coming into Earth. But frosty windshields are definitely going to be in a lot of spots. Cold temperatures live here on our Action News Jack's First Alert Sky.